Okay. What's up guys? Welcome to Get Real Bass Fishing. I'm out here with Erica, Brian, and Lee is somewhere. But I know there's a lot of people out here already. But it's one of those warm days after that cold front came through. Got the brand new van stall bailless. We're gonna try to fish that. Never fished a bailless before. So uh, it's gonna be something crazy here. Uh, that's what we're fishing. It looks pretty rough. I think I'm gonna fish off of the beach first with this bailless, figure out how I'm doing it, and then uh, move on from there. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Trying bailless for the first time. it there, pulling it down or something, turning that a little, casting it out and when it hits it's like you gotta grab the line or something down you here. Grab and the line and put it, that's what it, or else it, because, it just keeps spinning. Yeah. I was just gonna say because you gotta re-catch the yeah. bobber, right? Yeah, so what I've been doing is just grabbing it like that and when it comes around it's grabbing it. Oh, okay. What There's are you doing? never beach here. This is so weird. This feels really weird. Yeah, there's never beach over here. And it's high tide right now, so I really, I wonder why. Maybe the storms wash in so much sand, it's, it's now a beach. This is awesome though, it's so cool. So much better than walking on the rocks. Yeah. So we fished a little bit. Tried the new van stall without the veil. I like it, it's awkward. Um, now we're just trying to find some fish and walking on this beach bunch of clear jellyfish on the on the beach too i like it right here looks like there's a drop off what? Right, yeah i like it different baits we tried bucktails first and I uh, tried a top water and then went to this SP minnow I think I'm gonna go back to top water just because the sun's going down and top water bite usually turns on when that happens so I got the tsunami talking popper and uh, we're gonna put that on So since this is my van stall unveiling video, it's a VSX 200. I got 50 pound braid on here. Q 
here I don't need that and I could probably get away with actually I can get away with 30 pound braid but I have 50 on here because I'm taking this to Montauk and um, I just don't want to lose anything in the rocks so 50 it is I've used 30 multiple times at Montauk and I've lost things but uh, this is a Saltex 10.6 medium heavy uh, rod really big butt so when we go to Montauk I can submerge this reel and use this as a walking stick walking in in the rocks and the water and then I have a 60 pound fluoro leader and I put on the seven inch chalk and bobber. So everything, like, like I've been saying, it'll all be in the description below as well as everything that I've ever used. The entire gear list is down there if you guys wanna check it out and get stuff for yourself. But they are Amazon Associates so it does help us out a little bit and uh, we get some commission off of those sales. So if you wanna help us out, go through those links. But, Sun setting behind me. Hopefully we get on some fish because uh, I want to hear this all night. Let's go.